Some California regulators want to phase out diesel-powered big rigs and other trucks. KSBY reporter Austin Herbaugh joins us live from San Luis Obispo with details on that proposal and also some reaction. Austin? The plan calls for all new semi trucks to be zero emission by 2040. Box trucks and delivery vans would have to switch even sooner. The California Air Resources Board has unveiled new regulations that outline a full transition to zero emission freight and cargo trucks. The lion's share of pollution in California from vehicles comes from heavy duty vehicles. And although we have done a great deal to clean them up, there's a lot more to do. Here's a breakdown of the proposal. In 2024, all new box trucks, delivery vans, and freight trucks that travel short distances must be zero emission. The remainder of the fleet will have to fully phase out gas and diesel by 2035. City, county, and other state government trucks are required to be all electric by 2027. By 2040, all new big rigs must be zero emission, and there are plans to fully phase out diesel power trucks by 2045. I just think this is a really important moment. One of the truths about California um, is that we really do move the nation's freight. We have the largest ports, and that means that we have communities that bear the brunt of the pollution associated with that freight. This is an extraordinary chance to do right by them, um, while helping America as a whole move forward technologically. The move would impact all big rigs that operate in California. The California Trucking Association says that a lot of technological advancements need to happen for the plan to work. We do believe that there is a lot of promise in smaller class delivery vehicles, the types that do e-commerce deliveries that operate within a limited range of a home base and can come home to charge eight to 10 hours overnight. Now around 1.8 million big rigs could be impacted by the requirement in California. Reporting in San Luis Obispo, Austin Herbaugh, KSBY News. Austin, thank you. The California Air Resources Board will hold a public hearing on the proposal on October 27th. The public comment period is open now.